I'm Dr. Les Lynette, and I hope to help you understand psychiatric problems. The claim that parental alienation syndrome is junk science. Dr. Amy Baker's article in Psychology Today, July 22, 2011, points out that generally speaking, there are two standards for the admissibility of expert scientific testimony in court. Different states adhere to different standards. The federal system and some states apply the Daubert standard, so named for a U.S. Supreme Court case almost 20 years ago. The other is the Fry standard, named for a federal case in the 1920s and used by certain states. The Daubert standard is stricter than the Fry standard because it was aimed at keeping junk science out of courtroom. Fry requires only that the particular scientific theory, technique, discipline be generally accepted as reliable within the relevant scientific community. Dr. Baker said that parental alienation and its subset parental alienation syndrome, unquestionably meets the Fry standard. In her article, Dr. Baker states, quote, in light of the hundreds of articles that have been published in this country and around the world, there is no question that parental alienation meets that standard. This is so despite the fact that there is some controversy regarding it. The reason is that much of the controversy is about various facets of the theory, but not with the theory per se. For example, many of the critics object to parental alienation syndrome being included in the DSM, the Diagnostic Manual, or worry that parental alienation syndrome can be misused by the courts or complain that too little is known about treatment. Dr. Baker continues, starts with the assumption that parental alienation exists, that is, that some children can be manipulated by one parent to reject the other parent. Unquote. Recently, Dr. Baker was called as an expert witness in a custody case in Massachusetts involving the Mastrangelo family and the court applying the more stringent standards of Dalbert approved her as an expert witness. The court accepted her testimony on parental alienation. Thus, parental alienation syndrome met the stringent standards of Dalbert. Dalbert presents criteria for deciding whether or not testimony is junk science. Scientific testimony should be allowed if it meets the Daubert standards of 1. Validity 2. Reliability 3. Error rate 4. Falsifiability and 5. Peer review According to Dr. Baker and her careful review of several scholarly studies, the twin concepts of parental alienation strategies and parental alienation syndrome do in fact meet the Daubert standards. To date, every case in which she appears, her testimony is allowed because of the obvious face validity of the concept of parental alienation. The court accepted parental alienation syndrome as meeting the strictest legal standard in the country for admissibility of scientific evidence. Subsequently, in an Arkansas court case, Grove versus Grove. The trial court found parental alienation and the appellate court agreed in 2011 that a mother had alienated her two children from their father. The court found that the doctor's testimony passed the most stringent test for the admissibility of scientific evidence known as the Daubert test. The cases of Mastrangelo in Massachusetts and Grove in Arkansas should help end the argument that evidence of parental alienation should be kept out of family courts. Parental alienation syndrome has met the most stringent legal standards for scientific testimony rather than junk 
science. Passing Daubert scrutiny should help end legal arguments that parental alienation syndrome is a discredited scientific notion. Whether parental alienation syndrome should be included in the American Psychiatric Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, the DSM, will continue to be debated. The argument that courts should ignore alienating behavior by parents is waning. Now don't go away. You can see a preview of my entire playlist. Click here, and after clicking here, you will be taken to my channel where you may select the playlist either for this channel or for any of my other playlists of possible interest to you. I hope to see you on YouTube. Bye.